Hello and welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology Private Tutoring YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and ring the bell for more videos like this. In today's lesson we are going to learn more about alkali feldspars. At high temperatures there is complete solid solution in the alkali feldspars wherein sodium ions and potassium ions are completely interchangeable in the feldspar structure. But upon cooling they split into two separate phases where one is potassium rich and the other one is sodium rich. The potassium rich phase orthoclase is normally dominant and veins or patches of albite are ex-solved from the original homogeneous feldspar. This is known as prothytic texture which differentiate the alkali feldspars from plagioclase feldspars. This coexistence of two intergrowth phases is commonly visible in hand specimens of slowly cooled alkali feldspars. Such intergrowths are known as pert height. Orthoclase and microcline have perfect 0-1 and good prismatic 0-1-0 cleavage and readily form roughly rectangular-shaped cleavage fragments. They define hardness as about 6 on Mohs scale and have a density of approximately 2.57. Their color is usually white to pale yellow or gray. Pink to red varieties is due to the presence of minute flakes of hematite. Green microcline is known as amazonite. Twinning is frequently developed and is called Carlsbad twinning. Microcline and or orthoclase are essential components of many igneous rocks such as the plutonic rock types of granite and cyanite. Their volcanic equivalents such as rhyolite and trachyte respectively contain the high-temperature polymorph called sonidine. Microcline and or orthoclase are also important in many metamorphic rocks, particularly in gneisses. Potassium feldspar is widely used as a component in the manufacture of ceramics. Polymorphs are minerals with the same chemical formula but different structures. Sonidine, orthoclase and microcline are polymorphs. These three minerals form the potassium feldspar group. They have same chemical formula but different structures. Where microcline crystallizes in the triclinic system whereas orthoclase and sonidine crystallizes in the monoclinic system. The form stable at high temperatures is sonidine, which has a random distribution of aluminium and silicon atoms in its crystal structure. Low temperature forms include orthoclase, microcline, and agillaria, these have an ordered arrangement of such atoms. If specimens of the high temperature varieties are rapidly cooled, the random distribution is preserved. If the feldspar is allowed to cool very slowly, then exsolution will occur, and the solid solution will separate into a sodium-rich phase and a potassium-rich phase. Thus, one expects to find sonidine in rocks that were cooled very rapidly from high temperature, that is, volcanic rocks. Orthoclase and microcline will be found in plutonic igneous rocks and in metamorphic rocks. In addition, in the plutonic rock types if the cooling takes place slowly enough, then prothytic exolution lamellae may also form, 